The first thing I notice, even before we are ushered into Dr. Sabrina Chitaka's house, is the use of sharp colors on the exterior. It was even sharper inside. Secondly, flowers everywhere. To say that Sabrina loves color and beauty is an understatement. I love color. <laughs> I love color because I, I believe in, you know, being bright and sunny. Sabrina is a mother of five children, but the family looks after a lot more. She met her husband at Macquarie University. He had just completed his studies while she was still a student. They have been together for 22 years now. So what drew her to him? His smile. <laughs> no. <laughs> his jokes. He's really funny. Sabrina is very active on social media, especially on Facebook. Her page is updated by the minute with her thoughts, pictures and shares from others. I believe in telling the truth about myself and making friends and, and just being friendly. Indeed, when I ask about her biggest vice, she quickly points at Facebook. I think if I kept away from Facebook more, I'd probably do a lot more work. She loves makeup and can hardly leave the house without it. Her dressing is impeccable. She will not be found dressed skimpily. You're a role model, remember. And if you have children and you're skimpily dressed, they will tell you off. My kids are so good at that. It is not surprising that Sabrina became a pediatrician. She has loved children all her life, but studying medicine was none of her dreams as she grew up. I wanted to be an air hostess, I wanted to be a high court judge, um, I wanted to be a journalist. You really inspire me when you're on TV and you're like, I'm Josephine Karunji. <laughs> so for us it was Lucy Banya. Wherever she goes, Sabrina's phone extension causes quite a stir. The doctor she is has a medical explanation for this unique gadget, but she also finds it fancy. When you have this phone like directly on your ear, you're transmitting electrons. But if you're speaking through a cord, then it means that you're reducing the transmission of electro electrons. So basically, first of all, it's cool, it's funky. <laughs> In her life journey, Sabrina has had a lot of influences, from people she looks up to in the medical field to family and friends. First, my husband has been a big influence. He's taught me a lot of things. Patience, keep calm, saving money. Her passion is children. It is captured in her life quote that appears at the end of all her emails. Children are our future, because I really believe in it. Somehow, she has learned to juggle her different roles as a pediatrician, mother, wife, senior lecturer, and a lot more. She ensures that none of her passions suffers. When I get back home, I try as much as possible to keep work issues away from home. Her husband is also a busy man. Andrew Chitaka is the director of engineering services at Kampala Capital City Authority, KCCA. He does prioritize his family time, like... Friday night is our date night, Saturday morning we try and stay long at, at home and then we have family lunch away from home which kind of bonds us together. Hers is a close-knit family. The closeness is evident in her speech, her interaction with the children and even her posts on Facebook. Plan to be your child's friend and work on it. Every, re every single relationship takes effort, takes energy. She says it is important to clearly explain to your children why you don't want them to do certain things so that they keep away from those even in your absence. She is in for early sex education. Where do babies come from? <laughs> so it's, it's, you know, if you lie to a child and they grow up and they know your mom, that's breaking the trust. Doctors are known to have handwritings that only colleagues and pharmacists can read. She says this practice must change. Gone are the days when doctors are treated like little gods. I mean, we are in a service industry and we should share this information. I asked her what her reaction was when she watched the recent video of a nanny beating up and stepping on an 18-month-old child. Oh my gosh. First of all, I, I started asking, why are these people forwarding to me this video? It's totally, 
demonic. Like, how can anyone hurt a child so badly? And her thoughts on the apparent proliferation of soft pornography? Like, I wouldn't let my two young ones go onto Facebook until they are 12. That's a <laughs> promise I've made. The 43-year-old doctor loves her work as a senior lecturer at Macquarie University Medical School, but she does not take nonsense from her students. Some students will go beyond their level and want to call you Dr. Saab, like, hello. <laughs> Her saddest memories are of her late father who was taken as a prisoner of war for years and other deaths in the family. And I had to come and pronounce my own father dead. That was hard. I had to pronounce my mother-in-law's death. What does she think of our society today? I think there is a lot of fear of the future and I believe it comes out of lack of systems development. Sabrina's biggest regret is that she did not fully explore her sporty side as much as she would have loved to. I think I missed an opportunity to win gold for Uganda. Cause, and I hope that one of my children one day wins gold for Uganda. <laughs> I will. Yeah, you can. I'll win a trophy. Yeah, a gold one. Her final word for people working hard to better their lives. For me, the ABCs are ask for what you want, be who you say you are, care about others, and dare to live your dream. Josephine Karunji, NTV.